You got ID? Oh shit. Are you fucking with me? No, I totally forgot all of my shit. Oh, I'm just God. kidding, I got it, bitch. Oh. Ah! Oh, I gotta like triple check my wallet. Well, what an eventful morning this was. For you? Yeah, who would have thought? I really- Oh, MC fucking Chris. Yeah. Dog, you got me all in the mix. First of all, his social blade is dropping. Because people say, dude, did you see some of the comments to Josh? Yeah, that's you, what made me go off on him. I can't once, even see him. That's once what I'm he saying. fucking said that shit to Josh, and once he brought yeah. up homies past and yeah. all that shit. Dude, that's where he starts losing his own fans. Because yeah, yeah. people that are fans that's what of both I said to him. I said in the like, comment, Whoa. I was damn, I was like, dog, you're so trapped in your ego, you, ego, you can't see how you're fucking and turn off your own fans right now. Yeah. Again? The fuck should we expect a fucking crying video soon? <laughs> He's amazing. still going in, dog. Like he has all his little cronies trying to at me and shit. Oh my god. He's still liking comments and shit. Well, I'll fuck one that kid dude like up. kids on first of all, this is how my day started. I like I said, I rarely use Facebook. This is all your it. fault too. I got dude, I got trolled into this shit this morning because you have a Facebook still. And I've told you to delete it. This <laughs> is the problem. <laughs> he said some comment about his show coming up or how creative he did something, and I just put how creative with a face palm because yeah. it was like the least creative thing. That would have been it. Then he called me a dickweed yeah. and like made it look like I was picking on him for no reason. So yeah. I said, hey, just so you know, here's how I feel. Put my feelings out there. I literally ended it, dude. I walked away. I didn't even check yeah. Facebook the rest of the day. 6 a.m. this morning, my, I get my phone starts blowing up and it's Josh like, oh man. The that funny thing is dudes think drive. that I'm trying to, like his fan base yeah, is, yeah, I'm yeah. trying to get famous yeah, off yeah, of yeah, him. Yeah. But when like, you already have more clout yeah, than he does yeah, already. And I'm just, First of all, I have 300, no exaggeration, friend requests. Half of them are friends of ours that realize that I have a Facebook anatomy like Boo Sosa and mm -hmm. stuff. Others are Coheed kids because then I find out in the Coheed fan board there's a thread 400 comments oh, long with people like, no, Ern's a good dude, you don't understand. Well, I like MC Chris, I've never heard of and just this whole, and then finally he gets exposed in there because you I come in. started a war this morning. Then I went in yeah. on him so hard, like yeah. to the point now where it comes to Denver, I'm about to fuck him. Yeah. Oh, well, the best part is so then on his Facebook event, I hit going, yeah. and all these people are like dying. Dude, I just so don't understand. Like, one per, like, dude, you're trying so hard to be famous. You're trying so hard, and one person doesn't like you, so you go off on a tangent. Dude, but he's doing it for. The, the clout. The clout. Yeah, he's like trying to tag the whole Then I band. went and looked at his Instagram. Every comment yeah. on there of his 20,000 followers. But no, yeah. but and before that though, all his pictures have 10 to 15 comments. Mm. This one has 290. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. It's he like he, he was like, oh. That's what I told him today too. I was like, yo, if you delete the shit where you're calling out the whole band, this will all go away right now. Yeah. If you don't delete the shit, then I'll fucking see you on the 21st. Because he was trying to get you in trouble. Because he's trying to get you in trouble. Which is the point. He's trying to get me. put your dick in the dirt and be like, yeah. And Josh said, he's not an employee. He's my fucking brother. Yeah. Then he took that and said the drummer's brother. Yeah, 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 now kids are attacking Joey, oh, yeah, his actual know. brother. Fuck this clown. Fuck MC Chris. Oh my god. The fact that a grown man would take my just the, it's so post, hurt. Like and one put it on his Instagram, like you, dog. Like, dude, if yeah. I fucking focused on, I mean, I clap back on people who don't like me yeah. all the time, but I sure as shit ain't gonna fucking like make a whole. Yeah. This happened to me, and I'm sad. Yeah. Like, fuck you. Get over it. Go write a rap song about it. Yeah. She's so hip hop. Like, drop a fucking track, dog. Like, do something. What are you doing? Probably yeah. nothing. Probably watching cartoons. Yeah. That was another thing that pissed me off. Is that he started it and was trying to have a dialogue, but then blocked you out of it. So yeah. I was like, oh, so you're not gonna let him talk. Why didn't he block me? Why didn't he block Josh? He didn't block Josh yeah. either. That's what's annoying. Fucking pussy. I'm a fucking title this vlog. MC Chris is a fucking pussy. <laughs> so I, was, I gave him more mentions today than he ever got. Like, yeah. More notifications on Twitter than he ever had. What a day. And, yeah, all, it's been nice. and I have all these people direct messaging me that are like conflicted. <laughs> that are like, dude, I always thought he was a nice guy. I don't understand the beef. I don't want this to go on forever. And I was like, well, that's the beauty of the internet. Tomorrow everyone will be mad at someone else. Yeah, like, no this one shit, will even care. It'll be completely over with. It yeah. just went on for the day. Just like his fucking career. Yeah. Amazing. A fucking meatwad, motherfucker. I how I expected my day to pan out. Yeah, it was a really good start to my day. Right, we're back at the fucking weed grow this time. Yeah, we are. Did you bring your cameras? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Back. Okay. The grow. We're not going to do your collection. You should just for the next 30 days wear a different pair. Just wear a different pair. Damn, that hoodie though. Okay. We have a 
about 2,500 plants flowering at any given time. It's organic as it can be. With this industry, it's hard to call yourself organic um, because FDA, you know. Gotcha. About 33,000 mother or mothering clone and dome plants going at any given time. 33,000? Yeah, 3,000. <laughs> oh, 3,000. Okay, 3, I was like, what the yeah. fuck? Here, and it's the staging room. Nice. So this is what's going to go into flower later this week. Everything is color-coded. Um, we have various sizes of pots based on plant structure, flowering time. So this is just one room in here. This will fill up um, hand-watered. We don't have any drips going on. Well, over halfway. This will be coming down in about two oh. weeks. This room is actually all brand new genetics. We've okay. never flowered anything in here before. We're super stoked. We just got 45 new genetics in over the last two months. And everything smells absolutely amazing. In my humble opinion. Yeah, I mean, it definitely <laughs> does. But there's we have only... six rooms that are all about 250 plants, and then two large rooms that are about 350. And this all just goes to the one dispensary? Correct. That's we do crazy. a lot of wholesale. Okay. So a lot of it goes to frozen. So we remove probably the lower two thirds of every plant for CRX. Okay. Yeah, we smoke a lot of it. I'm sure. <laughs> we do. That's like five grams a week, I think, yeah. or something right now. You all right? Yeah, I just want to get a closer We're gonna focus. Lose. We're going to lose Ernie here. Yeah. Look at that. 25 are in a constant rotation, and then anything new, we'll just filter those in and out a few trays here and there. Crazy. Six flower rooms that are all about 250 plants. And we have two additional flower rooms that are about 350 plants. We have a total of about 145 genetics. Gotcha. That's a big part of our job is production planning, making sure everything's safe on rotation. Yeah, it's like an orchestra, right? Yeah. I can tell you what's flowering out of this room in two years. One of our bangers. Great. If you like a good sativa, this is the one for you. It's getting purple down here. Formerly known as girl scout cookies, but we just call it cookies. We don't get sued. <laughs> Can I reserve that one right there? This is Stardot. We do at least one showstopper bud in every jar, and then a couple smaller ones to kind of fill out the rest of the weight. QC is one of our main focuses. You know, as yeah. people are packaging, they're looking at every single bud. Yeah. They're we do the same thing with shirts. Yeah, yeah for say. sure. Yeah. My favorite things to do is just come in and rub the sugar leaves. And yeah. Ernie's yeah. <laughs> gonna, gonna, gonna love this room. Oh, wow. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> I'm so happy right now. Oh, look at this. Um, everything here is hand trimmed. We never ever use a green rose or any of that bullshit. Nice. We did for a short period of time and it just ruined our Yeah, that's not good, yeah. We actually just have two trimmers for all 30,000 square feet. What? Isn't that crazy? Yeah. That is two, crazy. Two trimmers. They're amazing. They've both been here for like three or four years. I think all of our joints are actually bud it's not trim it's nice like, if it's not an ideal picture perfect bud for a jar we just put it in joints gotcha so our joints are not crap yeah because a lot of places are they are yeah, yeah. Sure. that you're not going to be able to smoke it yeah, yeah this right. is the only person i know that smokes a massive amount of weed and can't roll a joint or a blunt or stuff a cone he can't do any of the three he's like i got the yeah, the, yeah, the blunt you can kind of do some, sometimes. It may not be good looking, but it works. It's not beautiful. All this care put into the weed and you just like wrap it up in a hurry. That's real cool. <laughs> yeah. 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 We have ones that are more full. They probably look cooler. <laughs> Bagging up that work. This is awesome. Gosh, you have young Jeezy playing over here. We have some like, beautiful diamonds we can take a look at. Some golden goat. Um, we've been doing, so we separate the diamonds and the terps, and we've done a new ratio. So the terps are actually going 20% into the diamonds, and then uh, the rest are going into pens. So these are our new gold pens. Nice. Um, they're absolutely beautiful. Yeah, well, my man's just taking up vaping pretty hardcore, so. I have been. <laughs> But our fear of the dark grew up us. The idea of alien beings troubles us. We conjure up objections.
fucking oh. didn't hear shit that she said. Huh? I thought she was pushing. I Damn, not even high after all that weed. Nice. <laughs> this makes me want to smoke a joint even worse. Yeah. Are we supposed to give these back? I don't know. Let's. I think they're souvenirs. I don't think so. Go run them. Well, I don't know if you can run them back in. I think they just print them up. We can give them to them at the shop. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Mister, you don't need your ID. First grow up experience. Oh, it was great. That was really cool. It's cool too, cause like I know all their weeds already and love them, so. I had to like smell them and pick which was which, but mm -hmm. it wasn't happening. Can't really tell with your bait. So today, shout out to Natty Rims for the tour. That was awesome. I've never been to like a real grow op like that. Super sick. That's where we get pretty much most of, like almost all of our weed. And uh, yeah, Natty Rims is awesome. You come to town, they do rec and med, so you can come visit when you come to town. But homies for sure. Thanks for letting us go. And I know Earn had the best day, even though the morning didn't start off that great, but whatever. But to talk about shoes um, and just the, I guess the EEA collection in general, because I got quite a bit of stuff from it. Uh, I'm not gonna go over the clothes today. I like all the clothes. I'll talk to you about them later, I guess. I mean, essentially it's all true to size. The pants are a little baggy, but um, in Kith, I usually wear like a double extra large and everything I got is a double extra large and it fits just fine. So yeah, but I like all of it. This thin, it's perfect for kind of what it's made for, but I'll get into all that. But this is the Terex Agravic Kith, um, the Agravic exists already. It is an Adidas trail shoe already. Usually has Gore-Tex, I believe. I've seen a lot of pairs that have Gore-Tex to keep it a little more waterproof. I don't believe this pair has. A lot of people I don't think have ever seen this model. Adidas has plenty of them and have for a while. Um, but this, ver and no, I don't have any, and definitely got the Kith version because I think that this colorway was so interesting. And that's just, you know, Ronnie flips shit and sometimes it makes me check it out. So, um, and I'm glad that I did. But just to get into it, the entire collection, EEA, it's Element Exploration Agency, which is like a part two to the last Columbia collab, the Kith Columbia collab in Aspen. That was what, um, that was the uh, Superstorm Intelligence team when he did kind of the winter stuff. This is just like a new name kind of for the collection. And then each shoe falls under one letter. So the first shoe, which I think is called the Jaw Paw, that's like the water sock shoe. The colorway is rust and teal. It represents the water in the canyon. Uh, this entire collection was shot in Utah at Amangiri, which is like a resort resort and when Ronnie went to Utah he stayed in the super sick house too that's where the inspiration for this whole collection came from it's where most I think all the photos were shot for the collection and um, it's just like a really beautiful peaceful place in the middle of a canyon basically um, I've never been there but people say it's amazing I, 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 I should go there actually maybe I will but the first shoe elements water water sock jaw paw drains it's got like a draining system in it all that shit um, and then exploration which is this bad boy which is the hiking shoe which makes sense Ronnie said that as a new direction for the company so they made this shoe super bright and stark because when you're exploring something for the first time that's generally the you know that's generally the emotion that you feel it's like bright and stark experience and then agency being a new name for a team you know team his whole team and that's why they did the pink trail runner which is basically just like you know kids shit that's their team color i have the pink trail runner on the way jaw paw i passed on and i only got this color collection and clothing this is the shoe i'm most hype on i well no that's not true i really love that trail boost shoe i already know i'm gonna love it because i love the other one but this was another shoe that just super surprised me like i didn't expect to like this shoe as much as i did and the comfort on it is just super sick and then the ronnie flip on it just i mean it crushes all the regular adidas versions just to be honest like it does it, it crushes them what the hell to do with the other shoe oh. um so this is what the shoe looks like super super bright you whoa you kind of whoa, whoa. kind of can't miss it hella bright crazy bright boom, boom, boom. um and then ronnie does these columbia collabs and a lot of you know a lot of the collabs he does are functional this is a functional shoe all the clothing is functional it's functional for what it's designed for and that's kind of ronnie says his vision is to make basically cool stuff that him and his friends like to do and i don't knock that at all that's a 
great idea. Okay, so to get into the shoe itself, um, where do I start? Okay, first off, I don't hike, so let's just get that out of the way. So I can't really give you a full-on performance review, but I did wear them all day, and this shit was way more comfortable than I than I gave it credit to. I, I, I didn't think it was gonna be that comfortable. I have Terex boots that you really can't feel the boost too much in, and I'm not gonna lie to you and act like you could like feel the boost in this like an ultra boost, because you can't. I feel like when there's a trail attached to the boost midsole, it really helps give the boost something to counter against. So you do feel some cushioning and some response in this, just not like you're gonna get with a full boost midsole. I'd say this compared to a hiking shoe without boost is gonna last longer. Plus this shit looks cool as fuck. Upper is textile and mesh. Uh, it's definitely not PK in any way, nor should it be. The reason for that, if you don't get it, it's a hiking shoe, so it's also abrasive resistant. This should not tear up super easy. And then all of these welded overlays should help add to that resistant. I mean, you have a toe box guard, three stripe overlays. There's a guard kind of all the way around, a heel guard, Kith branding. You have Tarek. This isn't really a welded overlay, but it's sick that it says Tarex in silver on the heel and it's black super tough but yeah these welded overlays will help with the resistance and it just tearing up so this should last in the elements even though it's a fire colorway and you don't want to ruin it but it should last even though it's mesh and textile it's a pretty breathable shoe i'd say on sizing i went true to size i wouldn't half size it down it's a little bit baggy like around the ankle, but I didn't really tie these down either. My top laces aren't tied because I'm not hiking, I'm just flexing. With this wide set lacing at the toe, you should be able to tighten this around your foot and not really like like feel too much. Uh, I don't think this is a waterproof shoe. It's a hiking shoe, so I don't think it necessarily needs to be. Um, I think that this is just a more breathable hiking shoe. I think that the whole entire collection is more breathable. The pants and the windbreaker are super thin, but I can imagine on a hot desert day are awesome. Like probably feel like wearing nothing at all. So that's positive when you're hiking. EVA tongue has more breathe holes in it, making the shoe even more breathable. Like it's just comfortable. Like this I could wear in the street. It doesn't feel like a bulky, crazy hiking shoe. It's super light, um, probably as light as Ultra Boost. And then just uh, the trails, you know, adds a little weight, but it's pretty light. Yeah, I mean, it's comfortable. It feels, you know, a lot like Upper feels, um, Upper feels like a regular, shoe you know i mean i don't i don't know what shoe to compare it to it doesn't really feel like the 700s because of the toe difference but just like a regular upper that's not pk like any other regular shoe especially inside of the heel orange eva orange blue yellow i think the color combo in this is super sick totally fits the setting insole is pretty clever insole does come out if you would like to take it out you can Lug Continental Sole, which should get you through any kind of hike that you want. You should be able to hit all the elements in this, but again, I wouldn't really run through water in this shoe. It doesn't seem like a smart idea to me, but I, I don't really know either. But yeah, overall, man, I'm like super hype. I got these. They, they obviously sold out. I don't know what resale is right now. Um, they came with extra laces, I'm pretty sure, too. I don't know what I did with them. There's a bunch of laces over here. Are these it? These are probably it, yeah. Came with these crazy laces. And then the yellow laces that come with it, these are super soft, you know, almost like yarn-like. Kith branding on one tongue tab, Adidas performance on the other. But yeah, super hyped that I got these. I took a risk on them, just wanted to check them out. And uh, for the second day in a row, I've been surprised by a trail boost, non-fully boosted shoe. Yeah. I, I fuck with it. I like that I keep getting surprised by Adidas. I love this collab. It's probably my favorite Kith collab from the year. The last Columbia collab was one of my favorites. So um, I really fuck with the whole functional, let's take our friends to this place and design shit that we could use and be cool with it. Uh, hats off to Ronnie Fogg. I think this could be worn on a hike. It also obviously can be worn in the streets. Perfect for Colorado, really. Like this whole collab. is All the Columbia shit is perfect for Colorado. So, and that's where I live. And even though I don't do all these activities, I don't have any problem with looking like I do. Looking like I do it in style, so. Shout out to Kith, Ronnie Fag, The Plug, Scruff. Y'all know what it is. That was the day. Everything is on schedule to ship from the pre-order. As of tomorrow, we should be good to go. And then everything from the last week's drop will be out by Friday. So, love you guys. Sorry for the shit talk this morning, but had to be done. Can't let people talk shit to earn them, my homies. Clapback season never ends over here. All positive vibes. Love y'all. Peace.
Thank you.